Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna go ahead and turn these beauties here into faux wood looking. I mean, they are wood, but you know, they're this pretty blue color that I don't have at my house. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and make them look absolutely gorgeous and very farm house. Um, I just want you guys to know that when you see something at the store and it's not quite um, gonna fit your style, you just have to think outside of the box and make it you know, your own. And that's exactly what I did with these. They're so beautiful, but they're just not the color that I would use at my house. Um, and so I went ahead and decided to paint them and they turned out so beautiful and I am so in love with them. And the best part you guys is check it out. I paid five bucks for these. Um, and so you can't beat that. Um, five dollars for these gorgeous, um, you know, candle holders, you cannot find that anywhere. Um, so these were of course clearanced out and, I was just so, so happy, especially because most of the time when they're different sizes, the bigger size is usually more and then the smaller size is a little bit less. So the big one was $12.99 and the little one I believe was $10.99 originally, but then on clearance they were both $4.99. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. But before we do, I, if you haven't already, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure to show me some love by giving me that thumbs up. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Okay, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and take the Waverly White Chalk Paint and give it two coats of white paint. Um, and this is gonna be the base just to get it all the same color and you're gonna do that to both of your candlesticks. Wonder if you think about me like I think Wonder if you dream the way I do When you look at clouds Do you see faces as I do? Do you get caught by your own thoughts like I do? Wonder what would happen if I showed these words to you Wonder if you laugh at my simple poetry Or even worse, would you look at me with pity in your eyes Saying I'm great, that you would like to be my friend Cause you Now that we have our candlesticks painted, we're gonna go ahead and temporarily move on to our second project. You guys have seen me do several projects and you know that when painting is involved, I like to get all of the painting done at once. So these are the fennels, I think is what they're called. I found these at Michael's in their clearance section, you guys, for 57 cents. And I thought, oh my goodness, these would be perfect for a beautiful farmhouse riser. And I also found like a little box or tray or whatever you wanna call it also on clearance. It is so important for you guys to take a look at your cells and your clearance because you can find some amazing gems. Now for these little fennels, I'm only gonna give it one coat um, simply because it 
you know, already is wood and it's not a color that we're trying to cover up. So it's not really necessary for you to do two coats. Um, but again, that is kind of a personal preference. Um, if you wanted to go straight in with the wax, you could also do that. It's, it's completely up to you, but I'm just letting you know what works for me and how I plan on doing this. But yeah, you guys, just a little creativity and uh, you know, you can go a long way. When you check out your clearance sections or you check out your cell sections, you know, think of different things that you want for your home. And I promise you, you will be able to create items that you want without having to pay the price for it. You know, the big um, ticket items for it. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, so anyway, uh, we're going to go ahead and give this also one coat uh, before we move on to the next step. So yeah. Think about escaping. Or do you like the way the sun is dancing in the fall? Maybe you find some peace of mind, maybe not. If I had Okay, now it's time for my favorite step. We're going to use the Waverly in Antique Wax. And you're going to go ahead and need just a brush and then some sort of rag. And you're going to take your candlesticks and basically you're going to go ahead and just add it to your... Um, candlesticks like you can see here the beauty is you're basically going to add it little by little and look how beautiful you guys are going to wipe it off this is beautiful and you're going to add as much or as little as you want the idea is to make it look like wood like faux wood and of course it wouldn't be farmhouse if it didn't look distressed, but that is my personal um, like. Um, you do not have to distress it by any means if you don't like that, but I love it. And I love that the little creases are darker. I went ahead and on some, I didn't want it to be as dark, but basically you guys, this is the beauty of this product. You're basically going to go and you know, add as much or as little as you want and all of its little imperfections show up, which is what makes it unique and beautiful and wonderful. So what I like to do is I like to give it the first coat is what I call it. And the reason I do this is because when I'm working with multiple projects, I kind of like to match them up as much as possible. So I'm loving the way that this is looking, but I am going to want it to be a tad bit darker, but I want to be able to match them as much as possible. So they're not going to be a perfect identical match as they are two separate different products. And of course, um, you know, you're never going to add them on the exact same way, but that is you know, still beautiful and wonderful. And I love the way it turned out, but I just wanted to show you guys how I go ahead and just messily apply this. There's no rhyme or reason. Um, you can leave as much of the white as you want, or you can cover as much as you want. That is such a personal preference, you guys. And quite honestly, it's just a matter of you deciding how much or how little of this you want to uh, use. You can even, um, you know, add the wax and just leave it on there without wiping it off. Um, it's quite honestly and literally a personal preference on anything that makes you happy. As you can see here, I'm going in and darkening some areas, lightening up some other areas. And as you can see, there's a lot of the white that's still showing. And since this one's a little bit longer, I'm working in little sections. So I'm, I started off with the whole thing and now I'm going 
from the bottom to the top. And as you can see, I love the little sections that are a little bit darker and a little bit lighter, and I'm going in to darken the parts that I want darkened. So quite honestly, just take your time, play with it. Now, the reason you see me working with gloves is because I've been using this product for a while, and let me tell you, it is not easy to come off. So I do recommend if you use this to use gloves. It's not necessary, it's not impossible to get out, but it's a lot easier to clean up if you do end up using gloves. Just a little bit of a heads up. Um, but I am obsessed with this wax, you guys. I have been using it nonstop in a lot of my projects. I will be showing you guys um, some 4th of July uh, DIYs coming up that turned out amazing. Uh, but as you can see here, I love these brush strokes. You guys, this is what makes it unique and beautiful and farmhouse. And um, I'm talking way too much, but I really hope you guys are getting the gist of what I'm doing. And I'm going to go ahead and pull my other candlestick and just repeat the entire process. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. I love communicating with you guys down in the comments. Please forgive me if it takes a little bit long for me to reply. Please keep in mind that I am a full-time working uh, mom. So thanks. Now you're going to go ahead and repeat the exact same process for um, our little box and or tray, whatever you want to call it. And again, there is a no rhyme or reason, you guys. You are going to leave brush strokes where you want them. You're going to wipe off the stuff you don't want to you know, wipe off. You're going to go ahead and leave white where you want to leave white. I mean, quite honestly, this is going to be 100% up to you guys. And because we are going to be using this as a riser, I personally did not feel the need to paint the bottom, but if you feel you're going to have it somewhere where the bottom is going to show, then by all means, go ahead and paint that. Um, I absolutely love how this turned out. Now, I wanted this to be just a tad bit darker than the candlesticks because of where I'm gonna be placing it in my home. Um, so it's just gonna be a little bit darker, um, but not by much. They look beautiful even close to each other, so um, they are absolutely perfect. And as you can see here, I am just adding brush strokes even after I've already wiped some stuff. Just like you see, I did the same thing with the candlesticks as you guys saw and then I'm going to do the exact same thing to the actual um, legs and then we're going to go ahead and finish off the project and you guys it is phenomenal Now 
Now that we have everything painted, we're gonna go ahead and take our wood glue. I am using the Gorilla Glue wood glue. Um, and we're gonna just go ahead and add a good amount to our fennels, and we're gonna put them in each corner. And we are just gonna go ahead and glue them. What I ended up doing is I ended up taking the rag that I used um, when I was applying the wax, and I put it over that once all of my little legs were attached, and then I put a heavy book over that just to let it dry overnight. And now here is the final product of my beautiful candle sticks I am so in love with them and I get so many compliments so I'm very very happy with them I hope you guys love them as much as I do and here they are perfectly staged with beautiful candles and a little bit of greenery I'm gonna do the same thing with the riser as well show you guys the final product and of course you're gonna see it staged as well please make sure to show me some love by giving me that thumbs up so that I can continue to make these DIY videos for you guys and as always, I want to thank you so, so much for tuning in, and I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye, guys. The heart of the fight. I said, hey, yeah, 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 call it a start by leaving behind what's breaking our hearts. I said, hey.